Hey y'all, it's Lola. I'm back with a try on haul. So today I'm gonna to be showing you some outfits I got from SheWin. Let's just get right into the video. SheWin is a wholesale and drop shipping company, but you can also, as an individual like you or myself who does not own a clothing boutique, order from their website. I will show you later in the video how to order from their website, but right now I just want to try on some clothes, so let's get into it. So today I have four bathing suits, two two pieces, two one pieces, and a really casual cute outfit. This first outfit, I say outfit because in Hawaii bathing suits are basically outfits because you spend like a third of your life in them, so I have like over 30 bathing suits. It's also summertime, so maybe for people in other parts of the world, you're wearing all your bathing suits now too. This first one, this two piece here, so freaking cute. I have not actually seen a design like this before, which is what drew me to the suit. It's got this one shoulder situation going on. It's got these details. I don't know what these are called, these little like things. <laughs> and then the bottoms are high waisted, which I love because it's more flattering unless you have a completely flat, washboard stomach. Uh, high waist is really good for hiding areas you don't want to show on your stomach. And also because I got the black one, it hides the shadows. So if you just ate and you're wearing your bathing suit, you don't have to worry as much. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really love. Also the material is higher quality than I was expecting. I just couldn't quite tell from the photo, but it's true to the way it looks. The only thing I would say is this part in the center, these details, again, I don't know what they're called, are curling in towards my body because it's just the top material there's nothing reinforcing it in the back so that's the only thing I would say the rest of it stays put because it's flesh against your skin it's just this part for me anyway I'm assuming it would be like that for other people because I'm, I'm part of the IBTC and so it pretty much almost was flush against my skin and it was curling under so I think if you have a larger chest it, I'm assuming it would do that too but honestly like I don't really care it didn't bother me enough to like not have gotten it but that's just something to know but also I would say based on on these outfits I tried on I think they're true to size so if you are on the cusp of a small and the medium I would say go a size up because they fit me but it was like if I gain one more ounce this is gonna be bursting at the seams that that's kind of how it felt putting it on once it was on it was okay but trying to pull it up so for me I like to try things on from the bottom up if I can because I have this phobia of getting trapped in outfits if you've ever had this happen to you where you're in a dressing room and you're trying on an outfit and you get stuck and you're all like contorted it gives me so much anxiety it makes me feel like I'm in a straight jacket and so what I do instead is I pull it up from the bottom and if I can't get the top over my hips then I know it's not gonna fit over my shoulders so it's a little hack and also because I had makeup on and I didn't want to get these dirty so I pulled it on up and it was it was almost bursting at the seams there pulling this one up that obviously won't necessarily work for everybody because I've I guess some people's hips might be wider than their shoulders but typically the way the human body is generally they're supposed be around the same width might not work for everyone but anyway that's how I figured it out I would say don't try to squeeze into a small if you're not genuinely a small <laughs> or unless you're working on your fitness or something. So anyway, back to the suit. Love, love, love. Super stoked that I got this. I love the unique design. Haven't seen this before. Love it. Keeping it. Yes. Next, we have another two piece. We've got this triangle pink top here. Typical, you know, only thing I would say is I don't love that it didn't have a clasp in the back. I like the clasps in the back because they make it easier to put on. So for this one, you're forced to either pull it on over your head or up from the bottom like I do. Otherwise, it was good. But same thing with the other top. Like if you're not a genuine small or genuine medium, like don't get that size, get the size up, I would say. And what I love about this suit is the bottom because I typically like to get suits that are a little bit out of the ordinary I wouldn't generally get a bathing suit that just looked like this like if it was just this and then pink bottoms I get bored with that I'm not saying it's not cute but it's just like you've seen it a million times where they zagged in my opinion instead of zigging was the bottoms the super super freaking cute I love the colors I love the stripes also apparently vertical stripes are supposed to make you look longer but then I heard that was a myth but I don't know I, I don't need to look longer except my torso is kind of short my legs are the long part so I feel like this might help with that and make my torso look a little bit elongated I don't know but either way love 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 and it's also high-waisted so as you know I love high-waisted because then you don't have to worry as much about your lower abdomen Yo. <laughs> 
sticker. I didn't take the stickers off. Yeah, I just love, like, even if it hadn't been high-waisted, I would have liked the stripes. So I think that was a good choice for them to do that. Good pairing, very super cute, love. Next, we have a one piece. So this, I really like the zigzag of the design on it. And then this is another one shoulder situation. So not a good suit for doing laps, which I like to do sometimes, but a good suit for like lounging, maybe wading in the water. Definitely comfortable, definitely modest, family friendly, but still a little sassy because <laughs> it's only has one strap and then it has this extra detail of this I don't know I guess giant eyelet if you want to call it that I'm not sure if that would technically be considered an eyelet but yeah it's a fun design and then the back straps across that way I'm the type of person who likes to keep an emergency bathing suit in her car because I live on an island so you never know when you're going to have an emergency trip to the beach or I was gonna say get invited to a pool party but honestly I feel like I have never gone to a pool party here that was more of a Cali thing I guess um, but even there I had always an emergency bathing suit in my car and I feel like this would go in that bag because it's a super simple one that I feel like would match with any shoes I'd probably be wearing already and uh, just really easy to put on and simple um, colorful cute all right suit number four this one this one's cute this is a one piece it's got padding which I forgot to mention all the others have as well I do not like suits that don't have pads because it's not polite to point so I like this one for a few reasons it's somewhat modern modest because it's the one piece. It's got sleeves which means you're a little more covered. It's a cute different design. It's almost like am I wearing clothes or am I wearing a bathing suit? But then it's got this deep V so it's a little sexy too. Now I'm part of the IBTC as I mentioned earlier so for me this would still be in my opinion considered family friendly and modest. If you have cleavage maybe not I don't know obviously depends on your temperament and it'd be your discretion but this would be a definitely a cute vacation bathing suit not again like the other one not a good one for doing laps because the sleeves I feel like might but a cute one for lounging for wading in the water just to look super chic next to the pool or on the beach on your beach chair good for a tropical vacation good for a honeymoon good for a girls trip to a tropical destination or even by the pool and then it's got this drawstring which honestly I don't feel like this is necessary because this bathing suit doesn't have any loop which I actually am assuming that having loops on a bathing suit probably wouldn't be a good look because if you lose the drawstring then you just have these weird loops so I guess that makes sense but I feel like even if you tie this tightly if you're moving around it would start to get loose and then maybe slide down so I don't know it's a cute little detail I don't think it's necessary but it's there if you want to use it I guess you could do something else with it like I don't know make a scarf I don't know I don't know but anyway I think the suit is really cute classy modest in my opinion for for my temperament <laughs> cute love glad I have it all right last but certainly not least as they say is the outfit acid wash denim looking but it's not actually denim 80s much yes love I was born in the 80s this in my opinion screams late 80s early 90s and I love that vibe also what I freaking love about this I tried to pair it with platform sandals and I feel like it was okay but what really took the outfit in my opinion to the next level I say in my opinion a lot because I'm like I don't want to force you to think what I think but sneakers and I the only sneakers I really had were skater shoes and they like yes and then I paired it with my delicate jewelry, so it was the perfect combination of masculine, feminine. I wore it as a high-waisted. I don't think it's necessarily meant to be. I mean, it's not really a long pair of shorts. I just, for me, with crop tops, I prefer to have a high waist, or if I'm gonna wear a low rise, then to have the top meet the waistline of the bottoms, because my torso is really short, and I have like a muscular, like athletic build, and I feel like I look boxy. And so, like having my stomach showing like that to me I don't know I feel like I look like a kid I, so I prefer to wear high-waisted with crop top otherwise if you're cool with showing your whole midriff that's a vibe but also I ended up pairing this with floral shorts super freaking cute that's what I love about matching sets is you've got now potential for three different outfits because obviously you can wear this together then you can wear this with different shorts and then you can wear this with a different top I just love the acid washed look I'm a little biased because I grew up in the 80s 90s so I think it's a vibe I'm 
stoked about this and also when I paired it with like the delicate jewelry on top and my skater shoes it felt very androgynous and like really cute okay what it made me think of is the guys who would play basketball in the early 90s and they would wear chains <laughs> but I've got like my rose gold chain I don't know it was really cute in my opinion in my opinion. Shopping online can be really challenging because you never really know. So I was very pleasantly surprised. I'm really happy with this. I'm stoked about this haul. I can't wait to do some photo shoots in these. I mean, I already have these videos for this haul, but like, you know, you know, I'm going to be taking some, some more pictures. And now I have like 40 bathing suits, which super love that for me. You can get 10% off when you order with SheWin by using my code LOLA10. If you don't own a business, make sure to check the dropship option when placing your order. You can find them on Instagram and TikTok at SheWinOfficial. And while you're there, might as well give me a follow to you at Curlyography. And now onto the business side of things. If you're looking for a wholesale clothing provider, SheWin is a factory direct website that offers some of the most competitive prices along with good quality clothing items. They support worldwide delivery to over 220 countries and territories, along with different shipping methods. They provide OEM service and customization. Advantages of OEM or original equipment manufacturer services for entrepreneurs is that they allow customers to design and customize products according to their unique specifications and requirements. This means that customers can get products that are tailored to their specific needs, which can lead to higher customer satisfaction. As far as branding goes, OEM services will allow you as the business owner to put your own branding on products, which can help to establish and promote your brand identity. This can lead to greater brand recognition and customer loyalty. Quality control. With OEM services, you as the brand owner can work closely with the manufacturer to ensure that products meet your quality standards. This can lead to higher quality products and greater customer satisfaction. I'm sensing a theme here. Cost effectiveness. OEM services can be more cost effective than designing and manufacturing your own products in-house, as it allows you as the entrepreneur to leverage the manufacturer's expertise and resources. This can lead to lower costs and higher profit margins. Faster time to market. OEM services allow you as the business owner to get products to market more quickly than designing and manufacturing products in-house. This can give you a competitive advantage and help you capitalize on market opportunities more quickly. Advantages of customization services for entrepreneurs. Increased customer satisfaction. Clothing customization can help entrepreneurs to satisfy their customers by allowing them to create garments that meet their unique needs and preferences. This can lead to increased customer loyalty and repeat business. Differentiation from competitors. Clothing customization can help entrepreneurs to differentiate themselves from their competitors by offering unique value propositions that cannot be easily replicated. Higher profit margins. Customized clothing items can command higher prices, which can lead to higher profit margins for businesses. Additionally, it can reduce inventory costs by allowing entrepreneurs to produce items on demand. Data collection. Clothing customization can also help businesses to collect valuable data on their customers' preferences, which can be used to inform future product development and marketing efforts. Don't worry, I didn't forget about those of you who are interested in drop shipping or who are on the fence. The advantages of drop shipping is the same as wholesale. In addition, there's no minimum order quantity requirement. Advantages of this for those who have drop shipping slash boutique businesses are reduced risk and cost. Without a minimum order quantity, drop shipping entrepreneurs can start their businesses with very little upfront investment. They don't have to buy inventory in bulk or worry about the costs and risks of sorting unsold products. Drop shipping entrepreneurs can test different products and niches without committing to a large order quantity. 
dropshipping entrepreneurs can also offer a wider range of products without worrying about inventory constraints. This means that customers can find more of what they're looking for on the entrepreneur's website, which can lead to increased customer satisfaction and loyalty. This also provides opportunity for scalability because without a minimum order quantity, drop shipping entrepreneurs can easily scale their business up or down depending on demand. They can fulfill customer orders as they come in without worrying about minimum order requirements, allowing them to grow their businesses at their own pace. There's also reduced time to market. Dropshipping entrepreneurs can get products to market quickly without waiting for inventory to arrive or worrying about minimum order quantities. This can give them a competitive advantage and help them capitalize on market opportunities more quickly. Shewin is a great solution for Shopify boutique businesses because it supports directly imported items from the Shewin store to the Shopify store of a boutique. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and leave comments and do all the things to help me grow my channel because I absolutely love being a life-size Barbie who gets to try on clothes, play dress up, make videos and do photo shoots and show people what the clothes look like and get creative with it. It's just really fun for me. So I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one.